வணக்கம் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சால்வ் ப்ராப்ளம் நம்பர் த்ரீ பாயிண்ட் த்ரீ சிக்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் ஃபண்டமெண்டல்ஸ் ஆஃப் எலக்ட்ரிக் சர்க்கிள்ஸ் பை அலெக்சாண்டர் அண்ட் சடிக்யூஸ் ஃபிஃப்த் எடிஷன் த கொஸ்டின் இஸ் யூஸ் மெஷ் அனாலிசிஸ் டு அப்டைம் த கரண்ட்ஸ் ஐ ஒன் ஐ டூ அண்ட் ஐ த்ரீ இந்த சர்க்கிள் ஷோன் இன் ஃபிகர் த்ரீ பாயிண்ட் எயிட் ஃபோர் so the circuit is given in which we have this 12 volts voltage source then 4 ohms 6 ohms and 2 ohm resistors connected in the branches and this 10 ohm voltage source is there and the currents are flowing through these branches as mentioned as i1 i2 and i3 but we are asked to use mesh analysis if you want to calculate this i1 i2 i3 they comes under this nodal analysis but in this question specifically we are asked to use the mesh analysis so that we are marking the currents here like this let me take this as capital i1 current and this as i2 current so we are marking the loop currents not the branch currents or the nodal currents okay so we are going to use the kvl what is kvl kvl is switch off voltage law so in a closed loop the sum of the algebraic sum of the voltages is equal to zero this is switch off voltage law isn't it so now we are taking this first loop loop 1 and i apply we apply kvl so that we start from here and this current capital i1 flows like this isn't it and ends here so that we can write the expression now as this is minus 12 that is the voltage source then here when the current enters that should be the plus terminal of the resistance the leaving is the minus so that we have to mark this as plus resistance 4 into the current which is flowing through that that is taken as i1 current okay similarly that current is entering into the 6 ohm resistance as plus and the leaving as minus here for the i1 current okay so we have to take we have to write like plus 6 i1 at the same time if you look at the 6 ohm resistance this i2 current is also flowing but in the reverse direction so for that i2 current the entering is minus and the leaving of the resistance is plus so that we have to mark it as minus 6 i2 so here we are writing the voltage this is also voltage and this resistance into current this is using ohms law this represents your voltage this is also voltage this is also voltage terms okay so that is equal to zero so we can actually rewrite this as by adding together the i1 terms so it is plus 10 i1 minus 6 i2 that is equal to zero so now if you divide it by 2 this becomes minus 6 plus 5 i1 minus 3 i2 that is equal to 0 so this can be rewritten as 5 i1 minus 3 i2 that is equal to plus 6 so let's take this as equation number 1 now we move on to loop 2 so if you consider loop 2 again here we are applying sigma v equal to zero that means it is switch off voltage law in a closed loop the algebraic sum of the voltages is equal to zero okay so let's start from here for that if i start from here the capital i2 current flows through this 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 and it ends here all right so here when you start from here first we encounter with this plus sign of this voltage source so it is plus 10 then here usually when you enter into this the current this is plus and this is minus okay and here if it enters through this 6 ohm resistance means this is plus and minus so this is the current direction of this i2 at the same time this i1 current 
the local and capital I1 is also flowing through the 6 ohm resistance but in the opposite direction. So that I1 current enters in the minus and leaves the terminal by plus sign. Okay. So that we have to write this like this plus 10 ohms then plus 2 that is the resistance into the current that gives you the voltage isn't it using ohms law. So 2 I2 then the same I2 current flows through the 6. So I into R here. Okay. So plus 6 into that I2 current at the same time minus 6 I1 current is also flowing in the opposite direction that is equal to 0. So this can be written as 10 minus 6 I1 plus 8 I2 that is equal to 0. So dividing this by 2 we get this as 5 minus 3 I1 plus 4 I2 that is equal to 0. So this can be written as minus 3 I1 plus 4 I2 that is equal to minus 5. So we take this as equation number 2. So now we have to solve these two equations in order to get the currents capital I1 and I2 first. Thereby we will be getting the small I1, I2, I3 currents which are flowing in the particular branches. Okay. So for that I will write first equation. So let me bring the first equation here that is 5 I1 minus 3 I2 that is equal to 6. We will multiply this equation number 2 by 5. So that we get this as minus 15 I1 plus 20 I2 that is equal to minus 25. This can be taken as 2 dash. Okay. Now we multiply this Equation number 1 by 3, so that we get this as 15 I1 minus 9 I2, that is equal to 18. This is equation 1 dash. Then we add both the equations, that is 2 dash plus this 1 dash. Then we will get this cancelled and here we get this as 11 I2 that is equal to minus 7. So this capital I2 current is equal to minus 7 by 11. So this is equal to minus 0 0.6363 amps. So what is the meaning of this minus sign here? Minus sign indicates that the current is flowing in the opposite direction. That's it. So now use the first equation or the second equation to find out the capital I2 current. Okay. So we'll take the second equation. Right. So in this equation I will substitute the value of the I2. So that we can get the I1 current. Okay. So here it is. Minus 3 I1 plus 4 into that I2 is minus 0 0.6363, isn't it? That is equal to minus 5. So it is minus 3 I1 minus 4 into 0 0.6363. So it is 2.5452. So that is equal to minus 5. So, if you cancel out minus everywhere, then we get this as 3i1 is equal to 5 minus 2.5452. So, that is equal to 2.4548. This is 3i1. So, what is i1? Capital i1 is equal to 2.4548 divided by 3. So that is equal to 0 0.8183.
So I1 is equal to 0 0.8183 amps. So we got these two values. So we got this I1 and I2 calculated using this loop analysis. Now the next step is to find out these currents. These currents I1, this I2 and this I3. Okay. So if you look at this, this small I1 that is actually equal to the capital I1 but which they are flowing in the opposite direction. So we can put the minus sign. They are flowing in the opposite direction. Is it right? Check this. This current is flowing in this direction downwards. At the same time, this I1 current is flowing upwards. Okay. So they have the opposite sign. Right. So this I1 can be written as minus 0 0.8183 amps. So we got one answer. Then when you go for this I2 current and look at this. So this I2 current, so this I2 current is flowing downwards at the same time. This I1 capital I1 current is flowing downwards, but this capital I2 current is flowing upwards, isn't it? So this I2 current is the difference of this I1 and I2. So we can write this as capital I1 minus capital I2. So that is equal to 0 0.8183 minus already one minus sign is there so minus of minus plus it is 0 0.6363 so this is equal to 1.4545 amps this is i2 this is i1 okay now we go for this i3 current so if you look at this i3 current i3 current and this Capital I2 current are one and the same because they are flowing in this. They are flowing in this branch in the same direction. Okay, so this I3 current is nothing but this capital I2 current. So it is equal to minus 0 0.6363 amps. Okay, so we got the answers. Thank you.